Hi you guys! It's Saturday. Saturday? No it's not. It's Sunday. What the heck? Um, I went to go see a patient this morning. Um, so I'm starting my week a little early this week because uh, my friend Todd is flying in on Thursday. Uh, Thursday afternoon and then Friday we're headed down south to Socorro, New Mexico where we went to school at New Mexico Tech and this weekend they are having the 100th anniversary of their saying a mountain so it's we hike up the mountain there and it's whitewashed with a big M on it because originally the school was called the School of Mines so uh, my plan is that I'm gonna go ahead and hike up M Mountain this weekend. Uh, those guys are not. My other friends are gonna go to the bar. <laughs> but um, it, 30 years ago, I hiked up M Mountain, and uh, they have my signature on a log that they kept uh, on a special day in. <laughs> actually, usually it's in March, and uh, it's St. Pat's St. Patrick's Day. We we that was our like. I think our spring break or something like that but we used to have freshman initiation and when I went through that I hiked up M Mountain anyway I want to I want to do it uh yeah I'm not in the best shape right now but you know what I'm looking forward to doing it if I can do it I'm gonna do it so there you have it um I got a card from Beth and I think I just dropped the photo yes I did and the photo of us at Graceland, which is very cool. Oh my God, that was so much fun. And I love the card, uh, Halloween-ish card, uh, with the witch and the pumpkin head, jack-o'-lantern head, flying through the air. And a very nice note. Thank you, Beth, I appreciate that. Um, and I wanted to show you something, maybe I don't give all the details, but I hope you can see that picture. That is a picture of my friend Mona and Tyrone when they were kids and they're getting married. They've been engaged for, gosh, a year and a half, two years. So I was really excited about that. Plus, I'm going to show you. Um, oh, but uh, the wedding is not until, I think, November or December. Anyway, I'm going to show you my neighbors. Let's see if you can see it. You see the, <laughs> the jack-o'-lantern? She's a big old blow up jack lantern. And there's some other things over there too. It's like a tree and I don't know what else. Okay, I hear the little doggie. I got home a minute ago. My mother's not here. I don't know where she is, but she didn't take her car. So one of my sisters must have come by. Look, here is, who is that? Who the heck is that? Is that the little precious? Where are you? Oh, there you are. You can't... <laughs> He's in the... Sh there he is! Yes, that's Fancy! Fancy's outside and Fancy thinks that she's getting in through the doggy door. That's why she ran around to the side. And then we have all the little guys coming out. Here is... Uh... Yes! A pignon visit. Anyway, sorry I didn't make you... I hope that I did not make you dizzy. <laughs> so, uh, just kind of touch base, you guys. Um, things at work are strange. Uh, you know, I work for myself. I'm an independent contractor. I contract out my services to a government entity. And, uh, yeah, you know, all, there's a lot of cutbacks and stuff. But basically what's happening is some of my patient, Not some. All but one of my patients uh, have lost services. And some of them are probably temporary. So, you know, when my patients lose services, I'm kind of out of a job in a way, <laughs> you know? Um, but I do see, I saw the one patient today. I have a couple others that are ending in the next couple of days. But I think it's just kind of a matter of paperwork shuffling around uh, because my patient made a phone call on Thursday when I was there, when one of my patients in the grants area, and they were just told they hadn't received the paperwork, and they said, well, I have it right here in my hand, and they faxed it. And so, I don't know. It's a lot of kind of a, 
you know, it's fine when I take the time off, but I don't want to be forced to take time off. But anyway, I have a, you know, backup plan. There's always a backup plan, right? Uh, I have been out of work before, before I became a nurse. So I know the importance of having a backup plan. So basically, um, I am going to probably go back to one of my agencies that I used to work for before. Uh, nurse, uh, what is it called? MSN. Whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I just need to catch up my credentials with them. And, you know, they call you, tell them if you're free that day. They send you out, you work. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I did pick up a couple of PRN shifts, which mean, you know, there wasn't another nurse available. Um, but they're not until next month, I think, and they're two weekends in a row, Saturday and Sunday, 12 hour shifts up north in northern New Mexico in Española, which is about two hours from here. So I will probably stay up there um, and then, you know, work all weekend. Uh, but anyway, so that's kind of a, you know, switch gears kind of whatever. But I also teach CPR, so I've got to drum up a little bit of, uh, you know, a few classes and do that sort of thing. But right now at this point, I'm not like worried or stressed out, but uh, I think uh, I've got to make a move kind of quick and then see, um, it's, it's giving me a little bit of time off, which I meant to slow down, but not to a complete stop. <laughs> so I have one patient renewed for the next six months and a few that their deadline will come up, but they, I'm quite certain they're going to be renewed. But anyway, I'll let you guys know how things are going. Bye.